Hello, Amar. So in the last class, we started with JSP. JSP stands for what? Java Server Pages. And the main use of going for JSP is similar to servlets like to develop server side dynamic web applications. And we have seen the JSP tags. JSP tags like we have seen the page directive tag. Page directive tag, the symbol is percentage at the rate page. And we end with again percentage. The use is used to develop that use it to include to include or use it to import java packages use it to import in java packages right so what is the main use of this one page direct to tag the main use of page direct to tag is to import java packages we have seen a study Next one, include directive tag. The use of include directive tag is the symbol is percentage at the rate, we end with percentage, and the use is use it to include other JSP files. To include other JSP files, we make use of this include package. Percentage at the rate, include here. Next one. declaration tag the symbol of declaration tag is percentage exclamation and the use is used to declare variables and to define methods use it to declare variables and define methods expression tag the use of expression tag is percentage equal to the use is use it to access the value of variable and to call methods so whenever you want to take value of variable or to call method expression tag script tag the symbol is simple percentage percentage the use is use it to include java statements you can go with any java statements so these are all the things what we discussed in last class. Just recap it, it's very simple to understand. Right. Now, today let us move to the next one. JSP action tax. Very, very important one. JSP action tax. We are in some of the action tax like JSP colon include. JSP colon forward, JSP colon param, JSP colon using, very, very important one for today's class. JSP colon set property, JSP colon get property. Let us understand first one, including forward. Let us initially go with JSP colon include and JSP colon forward. So both are for same purpose only. Use it to include other JSP files. Both are used to include other JSP files. Let us write the code and let us understand the difference between include and forward after the code. So let us go with examples. First dot JSP. This we need to run. From sec first we will include second. From second we are going to include third. First to second, second to third. Let us understand this. So whenever you want to create JSP file, what we have to do? Right click on project and say new JSP file. Then I'm going with the name first dot JSP. The extension what we give for JSP is dot JSP. Yeah, let us go with the message. This is first page. This is first page. Then we'll say JSP colon include page equal to second dot JSP. 
means from first we are including second. Then H3. This is end of first page. This is end of what first page. Now create second dot JSP. So right click on project and say new JSP file second dot JSP. It will say this is second page. This is second page. It will say JSP colon include page equal to add dot JSP. Then we'll say this is end of second page. This is end of second page. Now create third dot JSP. We'll say simple. This is third page. So from first we are including second, second to third. Now let us run the application and see it here. So I'm running from first dot JSP. See the result. The response is important to understand. See first it's going to first page. From first it's going to second, second to third. After that the control is coming back to previous pages. See this is end of second page. This is end of first page. So in the case of include, the response is handled by all JSP pages. Now let us go with forward. Instead of include, let us say forward. So here, let me copy this piece of code. Keep the code in comments and paste it. Now let, instead of include, let us say forward. Save it. Come to second.jsp. Copy this piece of code. Keep the code in comments. Simply say control shift slash to comment. Then paste it and instead of include let us say forward now run the code from first at jsp now see the difference so here we are getting only this is third page means the control is going from first to second second to third but the control is not coming back to previous pages so whenever you want to handle the response by all the pages then go with include if you don't want to come back to previous pages go with forward so what is the difference in case of JSP colon include, a response is handled by all the JSP pages. Whereas in case of JSP colon forward, the response is handled by only the last page. Clear everyone the difference between include and forward. Any questions? Right now, let us move to the next simple tag JSP colon param. The use of param tag is used to send the parameters from one JSP page to another JSP page. From one page to another page. Let us understand using the programs JSP param one dot JSP. This we need to run. And from param one, we'll send some data to param two. Right click on project and say new JSP file. JSP param one dot JSP. From param one, we'll connect to param two like this JSP colon forward page equal to JSP param two dot JSP. So from param one, we are connecting to param two. Then, now we want to send some data to param two. How to send this? We have to use the tag JSP colon param. The name of the parameter I'll say salary and the value is some 8000. So we are sending some data here. What is the name of the parameter salary and the value is 8000. Now create param2. JSP param2 dot JSP. Now we should take the value of the variable now. How to take that parameter? 
simply we can say like this salary so whenever you want to take the value of variables which tag we have to use expression tag we go for expression tag percentage equal to use the implicit object request and call the method request dot get parameter of salary that's it so whenever you want to take the value of parameters or variables we call the method request dot get parameter so whenever you want to take call the method we use which tag expression tag now run the code from param well see we are getting the salary value as 8000 next the next topic is very very important this is the main thing of today's class and this concept will be keep on using in next classes that is using java beans in jsp using java beans in jsp so first of all what is java bean this is very very important term this term only we use in almost all the programs from next week converts okay every day we use the concept of java bean it's very very simple one so what is java bean is a java bean is a public class it's a simple class only it's a public class with private properties it's private data members and public methods and getter methods for every property for every property we should have a setter and getter and setter means giving the value to property getter means returning the value of the property property means data members only like example so here we are going with a class book we are going with a class book with private properties private identity book number private string book name private double price so these are private properties now for every property we should have a setter method and getter method like this public void set bnbo bnbo which takes argument bnbo and here we'll say this dot bnbo equal to bnbo we are giving the value to the property right. similar way getter method public int get bnbo which returns the value of bnbo so set will give value to property get will return the value of property like that we should have setters and getter methods for every property here okay. one more point here the method name should start compulsory with the set and get only not with our own method names and if you write here book number instead of bnbo if i write here book number then this is not a java bin class now it's a ordinary class the method name whatever the method name you are writing here should match with the property names here bnbo should match here compulsory bnbo only set bnbo get bnbo set b name get b name set price get price so mainly to hold the data so if you want to store some book details we'll create a job in class book if you want to store employee details we'll create a job in class employee if you want to store account details we'll create a class account like this so it's mainly to hold data we go with java bin classes right then how to use this java bin classes in jsp so for that let us understand using a diagram Concept is very simple. Java beans in JSP. Java beans in JSP. Here, let us go with a Java bean class. Let me take this Java bean class. Once we create this job in class book, we are going to accept the book details from user. So to accept data from user, we create one HTML file. Let us create one HTML file, book.html. 
where we accept the book details like book number, book name, and the book price. And one submit button. Like save book. I'll say save book. We are just creating one HTML form here. So we go with the text fields where user can fill the value in the text fields. Then submit button save book. Now let us go with the name of the text fields like BNO, B name, and press. Let us fill the data. Let us fill the data like book number 111, some book name, and price. Once we click on this safe book, understand carefully. Once we click on this safe book button, we'll connect to a JSP file here. We'll connect one JSP file. Let me call it as safe book.jsp. So the object of safe book.jsp is whatever the form data we are reading that we want to store it into job in class object here. This book number value should go to property B in book. B name value should go to B name, price value should go to price. Then book object will be ready for processing. So we want to play with objects here. That's the main objective. So how to write that code? See here. We'll write like this percentage, percentage script attack. Then we'll say int bnvo equal to integer dot parsint. I'm writing shortcut here. Integer dot parsint request dot get parameter of bnvo. Since request dot get parameter method written string, we are applying parsing concept. So we are applying parsing and taking the string value and converting into primitive integer. Similar way, create the other data. In b name equal to request dot get parameter of b name. Double price equal to double dot parts double. Request dot get parameter of yes. So we have read the form data. Now the data is now present in these variables. Now create object of book class. Book book equal to new book. Now call the setter methods like this. Book dot set bnvo, which takes your value bnvo. Set book dot set b name, its value b name dot set price which takes a value price that's it a book object is ready now whatever you want to do with book object you can do it like example we'll call a method save book and we'll pass the book object this method will take complete object data and stores into stores these details into database table so making object ready to use so playing with objects that's the main concept of java bins here Right now, what are the code we have written here? This code is having some drawbacks. The drawbacks are like in future, in future, if you add a property, in future, if you add a property like author, in future, to this job in class, if you add one more new property, author, then do we need to modify this piece of code? Do we need to modify this? Yes, right. We had to say string author equal to request or get parameter of author. Like that, if my job in classes contains 100 properties, then here how many lines of code we should write? Approximately 200 lines of code. 100 lines for reading form data, 100 lines for calling set of methods. So your time goes only for typing the code. And one more drawback, parsing. One more drawback, see parsing. We have to convert into the respect to property type. So these are the drawbacks with this code. Then the solution given by JSP is for this. The solution given by JSP is we can do this same piece of code with only two lines of code. How many properties your Java bin class may have and what are the data type property it may be. 
we can solve this problem only with the two lines that is the place where we use attack jsp colon usp jsp colon usp id equal to book means the object name is book and referring to the class book here what's the name of the class book now we have connected to the job in class book now invoke setter method how to invoke jsp colon set property name equal to book means we are referring to the id book and simply say property equal to star that's it when simple with these two lines of code your book object is ready with the values the value what you have entered here this 111 one, one, one will go to this set b and book then b and your value will be ready spring will go to set b name 800 will go to set price how it knows that this value should go to the respective method only so here we have to follow one rule that is the rule is the java bin class property names and html form field names form field names should be same then only we can make it possible so what are the name we have used now bnv b name and press property names that name should match with the html form field names then only the value should will go to the respect to setter method clear all of you this concept so today we'll just make object ready to use in tomorrow's class only we'll take the object and persist in database table okay right. let us write this code example application create a package my pack in web project create a job in class book in my pack package packages are not mandatory but always suggested so that we can refer to the class very easily using package name let us do this step first right click on project and say new package my pack in my pack let us create a new class book. Go with the properties. Private int book number. Private book name. Private double price. So based on this number of properties, we should create three setter methods and three getter methods. Means total six methods. If my job in class goes with 100 properties, then we should create totally approximately 200 methods. 100 for setter, 100 for getter. Your time goes only for typing the code. Then there should be some shortcut way to do this process. The shortcut is simple. Just right click here. Right click on book.java and say source. Then you can find the option generate getters and setters. Right click on source code book.java, source, generate getters and setters. Click on select all and say generate that's it the code is ready for you see it has generated see set b and book okay get b and book set b and book get b name set b name get price set price that's it so the code is ready that's the reason i said java bins are very simple so i'm documenting here generating get it and setters right click on book.java and say source generate getters and setters click select on click generate that's it okay you need to practice this because we'll be keep on using this concept many times now so let us create a welcome page 
create a welcome page book.html in web browser. HTML. Click on web project and see new HTML file. HTML is in the form form action equal to save book.jsp. When you click on submit button, we'll connect to save book.jsp. Then it is in the form book number. Input type equal to text, name equal to big info. Book name, input type equal to text, name equal to big name. Book price, input type equal to text, name equal to price. Then one submit button. Input type equal to submit, value equal to save book. When you click on the save book button, it will connect to save book.tsp. Now, one more point whatever the property names we have used here, that same spellings only we have to use for form field names. Then only this concept is possible. Now, create save book.tsp. Create a JSP file, fbook.jsp in web browser. This is a major piece of code, but simple. Right click on project and say new JSP file, fbook.jsp. Now, the first step. We have to connect to a Java bin class. How to connect? Simple user tag JSP colon USP. ID equal to book means the object name is book. And simply say class equal to my pack dot book. We have to refer with the package name and say scope equal to session. The meaning of scope equal to session is the data which is coming from HTML form to save book. That data need to be used for making this object ready. That's meaning called as scope equal to session. Moving from one page to other page only session. Now we have connected to job in class. Now we have to invoke the setter methods. How to invoke JSP colon set property name equal to book referring to object book. Simply say property equal to star. When you say property equal to star, then it's going to invoke all setter methods. If you say property equal to only BNO, it's going to invoke only set BNO method. In our case, I want to invoke all setter methods. That's it. In these two lines, your book object is ready with values. Now let us display this object data in tabular format. So for that, we'll connect to one more JSP file. Ahref equal to display book dot JSP. We'll say display book. So we are creating one hyperlink display book, which connects to display book dot JSP, which displays this object data in tabular format. Means we want to invoke getter methods. The next step create a JSP file display book.jsp in web browsing. Finally, run the application book.html. Now create display book. We'll connect to job in class JSP colon USB ID equal to book as equal to my pack dot book equal to session. Now we have to invoke the getter methods, but we want to display book data in tabular format. So create a table, create a table row. In the first row, we'll go with the table heading. Book number, 
table data the value of book number how to invoke getter methods we have to use it at jsp colon get property jsp colon get property name equal to book property equal to bnvo we cannot use star over here when you are taking one one value property we have to use one by one independently create a table row table heading book name table data the value of book name Price. But equal to price. That's it. It completes our application. Just displaying data in tabular format. Now run the code from book.html. So it's asking this in the book details. One 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 the name and price. When we click on save book, the update will be ready. Now it is asking to display book. When you click on display book hyperlink, it's showing form data in tabular format. And the book details in tabular format. Got it everyone? This application. Any questions, anyone? While using the class is equal to book, we are referring it with my pack, right? My pack dot right. book. Because we have created book class in my package, right? If mm -hmm. you did not create package, just say book only. Okay. okay sir. So mm -hmm. create packages always. It's always suggested to go with packages in reality. Okay, Kalya. Yes, thank you. No. Let us move to the next one today. JSPL. Very, very simple topic. JSPL stands for JSP Standard Template Library. JSTL stands for what? JSP Standard Template Library. Okay, then it's a library. Library means some set of tags. So JSTL is a set of tags. Set of tags created by Apache company. So third party people have given this is not given by Java people. So third vendor Apache company has given this tax. In order to, this point is important, in order to use JSTL tags, we need to copy JSTL 1.2 dot jar, JSTL 1.2 dot jar into lib folder of WebNF or WebNF lib folder. So whenever we are using any third party jar files, we have to copy into WebNF let me show this so how to download this simple just to open any search engine like google then search here for jstl 1.2 dot jar download then you can download from any website here i prefer to go with maven repository next monday i'm going to start with maven repository maven concept then here you can see jar. Here you can see jar. Click on this. Which is going to download the file for us. Just to go to the folder where it has been downloaded. Copy this file. And we have to paste it where? In webinf lib folder. SRC main web app. In that you can see webinf. In that right click on lib and paste it here. Here you can see the jar file got added into lib folder. This is a setting required here. Now, 
let us go with the example codes so today i'm just going with the core jstl tags tomorrow i'll even discuss how to go with the database connection using jstl that also we'll discuss sql tags today we'll just go with only core tags jstl core 1.jsp jstl core 2.jsp core 3.jsp let us go with these examples right click on project and see new jsp file jstl core 1.jsp whenever we want to use jstl tags since it is a third party library for us we are to refer to that library so to refer to third party library we use the directory tag percentage at the rate tag lib use the directory tag percentage at the rate tag lib uri equal to http colon slash slash java dot sun dot com slash jsp slash jstl jstl slash code we are referring to the core tags here tomorrow we go with database connections we are referring to core tags and we have to say yet prefix equal to c any prefix you are wish generally we go with prefix c like we have seen no jsp colon include jsp colon forward in that jsp is a prefix now here in jstl in core tags we are having a tag out we are to refer to this tag using prefix like this c colon out and say val equal to welcome to jstl so what is the use of this tag out tag it is used to display message on browser so if i want to display something on browser up to now we are writing out our print and out our print line but in the case of jstl we use the tag out here to display messages on screen see it when we run so the message will get displayed on browser see here we are getting message now now we want to declare a variable whenever we want to declare a variable we have to use the tag set c colon set variable equal to number one value equal to some type let us create one more variable c colon set variable equal to number two value equal to 20. now we want to find some of these two numbers so you can say some colon c colon out value equal to number one plus number two we are adding number one with number two that's it now see when we run we simply get num1 plus num2 because whatever we use in double quotes that will get printed as it is but the objective is i want to take the value of number one i want to take value of number two and add it so whenever you want to use the values for expressions we have to use a concept here like this dollar curly braces the value should go in between dollar curly braces The value should go in between dollar curly braces. Here also we have to apply dollar curly brace. When we run, we get some as C 30 here. So, what is this dollar curly braces? We call it as expression language in JSP. Shortcut we say EL. EL means expression language. Right. clear with first example right no no let us go with the second one let me copy this. I click on project and say new JSP file. JSTL core 2.jsp. Paste the code. Now here we are creating two variables. Out of these two variables, we want to know which is big. We want to know which is big. Then for that, to check for conditions, we use the tag C colon choose. 
equal and choose to check a condition c colon when test equal to dollar num1 vt num2 here we cannot use greater than symbol if i use greater than symbol it's a symbol of tag less than greater than it's a symbol of tag so in expression language we use gt gt means greater than lt means less than ge means greater than equal to le means less than equal to eq means equal to any means not equal to right so number one greater than number two if number one is greater than number two we'll see big colon c colon out value equal to number one we will print the value of number one if the condition is true to go with else part we have to use the tag otherwise c colon otherwise we'll say big colon c colon out value equal to number two right see now when we run we get big as c 20 because the condition is false one more example how to go with for loops how to use for loop here in jstl jstl code 3 dot psp how to use for loop is we have to use a tag c colon for each c colon for each variable equal to i begin equal to 1 and equal to 10 how to display c colon out value equal to dollar l that's it self-explanatory it is just by seeing the tax we can easily understand what is happening it's displaying one to ten then how to manage collections i want to go with some collection of items jstl4 4.jsp how to manage collection is where to say c colon for tokens c colon for tokens items equal to we'll say some apple mango orange and these items are separated by which symbol delimiter is comma the items are separated by comma and the variable name is fruits name of the variable is fruits so fruits is a variable connected to this list of items collection of items then to display one one value equal out value equal to dollar fruits We are getting the list of items so simple suggestion to everyone don't work too much on jstl we are not using jstl nowadays more in the projects very rare cases only when the requirement comes to you learn about this else keep it off because it is we are not using any java syntax see everything is with the tags so when you practice more of jstl we forget java syntax finally that's the reason it is suggested not to practice more on JSTL, just to keep on working on Java. However, in future, we play with frameworks only. Okay, the front end part is taken care of by Angular instead of JSP. Okay, such type of applications only we are developing nowadays. Right? Any questions, anyone? Right. So that's about for today. So tomorrow we are going to develop one big application using all the concepts what we discussed yesterday and today. Today's is the major one for tomorrow's class. So we will be making use of these concepts for tomorrow's class. And we develop a big application and we connect to databases also. And next week we are going to start off with frameworks and we start with Hibernate. Right. Thank you all.